Hey guys, Sean here, Mahala.com. In today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to check the authenticity of a website. Now I'm gonna cover authentication and verification of your banking website online. There's a couple nice features that modern day browsers have to help you stay aware of sites that are secure. One good example of this is that each address bar here is green and we're all on the same website, Bank of America. This is just a simple and easy way to let us know that the site is secure. We can verify this by clicking on the lock. And this shows us the site is verified and it's also encrypted. And that just simply means if anybody was able to get the information that's between me and the bank, they would not be able to view the information due to the encryption. To view this in Chrome, just click on the lock on the left, Internet Explorer, the lock on the right. For Mozilla's Firefox, click on the bar. But not every website will be this verified. Another good example of this, let's say for instance, Wells Fargo. Where you can see right here, the bar is not green, but we still have the lock. If we click on the lock, we can see the site is verified and the server is using encryption. Now let's say we'll check out another banking website. Now one thing here is we're not able to see if the site is secured or if it's encrypted. But we do see that the website is usbank.com. Now let's check out another link. This link here does not give us any information, but it's saying it's Bank of America. Although if we look at the address, the address is not Bank of America. Back at the Bank of America website, it's bankofamerica.com. But for some reason, this website says online-boa.com. And this page is simply asking us for all of our online information, our ATM pin, passcode. And this site here has been reported as a valid phishing site, which means it's a fake scam website, and they're just trying to steal our information by creating a page that looks like the page we're trying to go to. And how you end up at a page like this most commonly is from a redirect. Maybe somebody trying to get your information sends you an email and says, hi, I'm a representative from Bank of America, and just to verify your account, we need you to fill out this form. It looks just like Bank of America, but it's not their website. And if I load this website, into Chrome or Firefox. They both come up as a site as a phishing site. Like I said, a phishing site is simply a site that's made to look like another site just to grab and steal your information. So as far as the various levels of security we have, we have the green bar, the padlock, and also the address for the website. And there you go, you now have a greater idea of how to verify how secure a website is and whether or not it's the actual site it's supposed to be. And if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.